Welcome back to Nothing Beats Gaming. We just beat up a, 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 a glass warehouse. So, we're back to Final Fight. The arcade classic beat-em-up. You know, I never was a big fan of the beat-em-ups, but this one was always one that I enjoyed. Um, a lot of beat-em-ups, unfortunately, they were just quarter des uh, they were just designed to be quarter demolishing uh, games. And you know, sometimes when they brought them to the consoles, they didn't alter the game to uh, take that into consideration. So you only got a couple of continues. So unless you were like the greatest player in the world, you know, you 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 couldn't. You couldn't be like everybody at the arcade. If you had enough quarters and skill, you could beat the game. With the console versions, you literally could only beat the game if you had the skill. You only got a pocket full of quarters. So, yeah. It was very difficult. Like, for instance, until the Game Genie came out and I was able to cheat my way through the game, I was never able to beat a lot of games that came out for the Super Nintendo. Some of them were just so outright difficult that, uh, you know, being a kid, I just never had the skill. And there were, you know, just, it was just not something I ever was able to finish. So, you know, and, and in fact, there were a lot of games when I was a kid that if it didn't have Game Genie codes already to go, I, I wouldn't even play it. <laughs> I would try to play it my, uh, you know, on my own. But uh, if it got too difficult, and let's face it, there were a lot of games for the Super Nintendo that were super difficult. They, uh... I, uh... If it didn't already have a Game Genie code to go with it, uh, I, I sometimes didn't play it. Not that I wasn't up for the challenge, but for me, gaming was always fun. And a game that was, like, super difficult, like, quarter-munching uh, beat-em-ups were... Uh, they were not not what I was looking at, looking for in a uh, video game challenge. So yeah, so sometimes I come back to these games forgetting that I had uh, used the Game Genie for the most part, and I'm like, boy, these games are a lot more difficult now that I'm older. No, no, it's not that I'm older, it's that I don't have the uh, cheat devices that I used to have. Continuing is instantaneous. Oh, see, now that's Roxy. Whatever happened to Roxy? And triple poison. You know, I mean, everybody cares about Poison, you know. Poison's the woman you can't beat up, but what about Roxy? No one cares about Roxy. burning through the continues at this point. Doug. 
Boy, I tell you, all this bullshit I'm going through beating up all of these gang members single-handedly, I better never have any trouble when it comes to re-election time. Excellent slash. Boy, what? the music sure uh, working over time to switch it up. I mean, that bathroom had its own uh, had its own music. That it's pretty cool. Holy crap. Oh, the one time I needed to find chicken in a bunch of tires. Jesus. A lot of sprites all of a sudden. <laughs> now, I want to pause it here just for a second. Did you see what just happened? I beat up a phone booth and there was an orange in it. Okay, so a lot of people make that joke, oh, there's a chicken in the middle of this fight that you're just going to eat and get all your health. It's a tired old trope. But let's look at this. I'm on a pier, surrounded by bikers. We just got past a filthy bathroom. There's no restaurants or, or, or stores nearby. I just smashed a uh, telephone booth and I found an orange. I mean, at least the chicken makes sense. Not really, but anyway, back to the, back to the shit kicking. I guess I better take it. Jesus. Barely get one single hit in before they're knocking me on my ass. Yeah. Ah, why were you facing the wrong way and you throwing the knife? Come on. We have Doug and Bread. I'm sorry, but if you join up a gang and your name is Bread, I would strongly suggest changing it as soon as possible. What's, uh, what's going on with the Statue of Liberty? Is she lactating? Lasers coming out of her chest?
Alright, well we have come to the end of another episode. But the action keeps on going. Thank you so much for joining me on this. Hope you're having fun. I'm having fun. This is this is just old school fun right here. So come here. Get over here. Get over here. Alright. Thanks for joining me. Have a great rest of the day, and uh, we will catch you next time on Nothing Beast Gaming as we continue our uh, cleansing of the uh, gangland scumbags that have kidnapped my daughter.